how do you use XLOOKUP if you have more than one column? So here I have a bunch of data that is in a table format. So I want to use XLOOKUP, and you can see that I've figured it out. I want to be able to look through any of these columns to find the corresponding names. So the way XLOOKUP usually works, it wants one column to look up the search value and one column to look up the return value. I got this props over to Oz at Excel on Fire. I got this idea for a video from him. He did this same thing in Microsoft Excel yesterday and had a great solution that actually didn't work in Google Sheets the way that I thought it would. I'm gonna walk through his solution first and uh, the pieces work, but when you put it together in one formula, it doesn't. And then directly after, I'll put a time link in the description below if you just wanna go straight to my solution. I'll show you how I did it. So the way he did it is, first of all, getting it into, uh, you know, we have this two call form formula and we can get everything into one column. So a two column brings all these values into a single column. Okay, then we can X look up A2 and we can search this whole column and then we can return this whole column. So what this does is it looks through the column and then it returns what it finds. So if I look for Emma, it's going to return Emma. If I look for 21, it's going to return 21. It doesn't do what we need it to yet. But what Oz did was he wrapped this in an offset, which I thought was pretty cool. Offset by one row and zero columns and boom. So that's finding 21 right here and then it's offsetting it by one. So it returns grace. So that's the solution that he gave us and it works, except it doesn't work when you try to do it all in one fell swoop. So if I take that whole thing and instead of having this printed out into this column over here in column A, instead what I wanna do is just replace this with those two call arguments, whoops, tabbed when I shouldn't have, so if I say to call, and then I go all this stuff, and then I do that again, this is the same data, but check it out. Argument must be in a range. So offset is not functioning correctly here. It wants this to be a range. So it really wants to see this is one big range rather than a formula to make one big range. Okay, so how did I do it? Well. Uh, check it out. What does XLOOKUP do? It takes a search key, and that's this ID number in A2. Then it takes a lookup range, and it wants this to be a single row or a single column. And then it wants a result range, same thing, to be all in a column. Okay, so that works for our first column. Then check this out. Missing value. This is what happens, this is what is displayed if it does not find 20 in this first column, and it's not going to, right? It's gonna be in this column. Well, watch, you can just nest X lookup statements. And so we're going to search the second column, and we're going to return in the second column. And look, I left out the, uh, left out the search key there. Need to put the search key still. And then we just do the same thing again for our final column over here in H for the search. I for the result, close the big parentheses, and voila. Now we can search any of the columns and it will display the thing that we want it to. Thought this was pretty cool. Again, thanks to Oz for the idea from Excel yesterday. Hope this is helpful for you in Google Sheets today. You're awesome. Have a great one. <laughs>